right, welcome back to our coverage of what has been a very uh, traumatic day for some people with the severe storms all around our area. Yeah, a tornado outbreak across, uh, you know, Northern Virginia, of course, Montgomery County as well. The most significant damage was done in Gaithersburg, uh, just not far from Gaithersburg High School, about a half mile or so. Uh, one neighborhood there, the Deer Park neighborhood, several homes had trees come down on it and crashing. Our Mary R. Carbone live in that neighborhood right now uh, where she saw the worst damage, one home with five people that were trapped. Marielle, what are you seeing right now? Good evening. Uh, good evening, Chris. Well, you might notice that's a little different from the last times we've spoken to you. It's a little louder out here, and that is because a Washington gas crew just got out here. I'll move so you can see some of the work they're doing. They're actually digging up on that property where that tree crashed into the home trapping five people. Again, this has been uh, really the worst of the damage that we've seen. A massive tree coming through the roof and trapping five people in what may have been a bedroom uh, official set out here. So we do know all five of those people. They were transported earlier tonight. Uh, we were originally told one of them was suffering from traumatic injuries uh, about a half an hour ago. We were told that those injuries are non life threatening. So some good news there. Uh, but this home, a total loss out here. And now, of course, uh, the gas crew is digging up out here. Uh, they haven't given us an update on camera, uh, but obviously working to ensure that this property is safe out here uh, for anybody that is in the area or passing by the area. Uh, we've been seeing crews go on and just kind of survey the property, taking photos of the damage, the tree, uh, and just walking around to assess for any safety concerns. Uh, this home and some others in the area are without power tonight, uh, but not everyone is dealing with that. Just across the street, we do see lights on uh, in this neighborhood, so it kind of depends where you're at. We know that there were at least three homes, including this one we're at, uh, that crews did have to go in and rescue families because of fallen trees. No other injuries were reported at any of those other homes, but just looking around this neighborhood, there are still some down trees, down power lines. So if you're out in this area tonight, uh, you just want to be careful. I know it's already pretty late, so uh, hopefully everyone is in uh, in their homes at this point. But again, if you have to go out maybe early tomorrow morning, still be cautious because there still may be some down wires and down trees. And of course, we've been saying this, if you do come up on any trees or wires, we want to treat those wires like they are live wires uh, and stay away from those. So that's the latest out here in Gaithersburg. I'm Ariel Carbone, DC News Now.